Hello, everybody. Welcome to my talk. Today, I'm very happy to introduce uh, to introduce a joint work with Austin Benson and Yuri Leskovich from Stanford University and David Glick from Purdue University. Austin has just graduated from Stanford and moved to Cornell. Our, our work is about local clustering, where the idea is if you are given a network and given a seed node, you want to find the local cluster containing the seed node. Note that this is different from traditional global clustering algorithm, which aims to partition the co network into different pieces. The, the difference is mainly two folds. First, this is a targeted community detection problem, where, we, which is, where the target is identified by the seed node. And second, most local clustering algorithms only explore a local neighborhood of the seed, which makes most local, uh, local clustering algorithms much uh, scalable and faster. Due to these nice properties, local algorithm has a variety of, of applications, such as finding communities of an individual in a social network, finding protein complex, and finding, uh, finding related video in online media. Existing methods tend to find clusters with many internal edges and a few external edges. And this is usually formulated as finding a cluster S with minimum edge conductance. The edge conductance is defined as a ratio of the number of edge cuts to the volume of the set S, where the volume is the number of edge points in S, which is equivalently the sum of degree of all the nodes in S. The, the, uh, the, the, lower, the, the lower the conductance value, the better the, be the better the set S as a community. And, and therefore, we want to find the cluster with minimal edge conductance. However, these clusters, cl clustering algorithms are based on edges, but edges are not the only interesting structure in the network. And actually, there are increasing evidence showing that higher order connectivity patterns, also known as network motif, are the building block of many complex systems. For example, the triangle appears much more frankly in social networks, where the idea is two of my friends are highly likely to meet each other and become friends themselves. And different motifs shows up in different domains. If motifs are the, are the fundamental structure of, of networks, then we should, we should build our, our classing method based on motif. And, actually, and this is an idea of a recent work of my co-authors, uh, who aims to, uh, to find a cluster S with minimal motif conductance. The motif conductance is the direct generalization of the edge conductance, which is a ratio of the number of motif cuts to the motif volume, where the motif volume is the number of edge uh, motif endpoints in S. Let me illustrate this with an example. Taking this graph, uh, for, for this graph and, the, and this set S, as we see, there, uh, 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 this, uh, this, tri this triangle motif uh, contributes two endpoints in S. And there are three other triangles, this one, this one, and this one. Each of them contributes three to the motif endpoints. Therefore, for this set S, there are 11 motif endpoints here. And note that there's only one motif, well, there's only one motif cut at this, at here. Therefore, the motif conductance of this set S is 1 over 11. The recent work has shown a significant improvement but both in the ground truth community detection and on, and on knowledge discovery if we use a motif-based method compared with the edge-based method. However, this existing method is a global method, and, uh, and, we, and there are no motif-based local classing algorithms exist. As a brief summary, uh, or the motif, uh, we, we, uh, as motifs, uh, as a brief summary, the motif-based method can uh, can give much better uh, have much better performance than edge-based method. Well, as, uh, however, we still need a, a, a local method to make the motif-based method scalable and faster. And this is our work about. As a as a as a formal definition, our uh, our, our work uh, our work is about if we are if we are given a network, a seed node, and a motif. Then we, we, are, we are going to output a cluster containing the seed, mode, seed node with minimal motif conductance. As a brief visualization, taking this network as an example with this seed as this motif, which is the triangle with bi-directed edges. Then we are, we are going to find the motif instances at here, and we are going to output this cluster. However, if you are interested in, uh, interested in another motif, for example, this triangle, where we, where, where we have a, a superior, node, superior node having only one directional edge to the other two nodes. Then we are going to find motif instances at here. 
and we are going to output this cluster. As we see, the, our motif-based classing algorithm, uh, uh, algorithm if, we are, if you use different, uh, different motifs, can give a different classing result. Therefore, our, our, our method can have, a, have, a much, have much more flexibility in, its, in their applications. The, the local motif-based classing is challenging because of, of, of for the following two reasons. First, this is the, this is the generalization of the, of, the, of the conductance minimization problem, which is already NP hard to solve. And second, there are no methods, uh, no, no local classing methods that is based on motif conductances. And to solve this problem, we, we, we develop and propose an approximate solution called Mapper, or the motif-based approximate personalized pers uh, page rank algorithm. This algorithm is a generalization of the, of the original APPR method proposed by Anderson and his co-authors in 2006. Before diving, the diving into the details, let me first give you an overview of our algorithm. So there, are two, there are two key ideas and steps in our algorithm. First, we create a weighted graph where the weighted edge conductance of every set is equal to the motif conductance in the, mo in the original graph. Here, the weighted edge conductance is, a, an, is another generalization of the original unweighted edge conductance in the unweighted graph. Here, we replace the number of edge cuts by the sum of the weights of all the edges being cut or set, and we replace the number uh, and we replace the sum of the degree, uh, sum of degree of all the nodes by the sum of the weighted degree of every node. The weighted degree is simply the sum of the weights of all the edges incident to this node. After uh, after finding uh, after finding uh, after forming the weighted graph where the weighted edge conduction of this every set is equal to the weight is weight is equal to the motif conduction in the original uh, 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 graph. Then on the second step, we f we find a cluster with minimal weighted edge conductance on this weighted graph, and this is a, is a high level idea. Our algorithm has a few very nice properties. First of all, it has running it has runtime guarantee, which means that. The, the, which, which says that the procedure will stop upon finding a very good cluster, and, there, uh, and there's no need to explore the entire network. And second, our method also has quality guarantee. It means uh, which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which it says that it is guaranteed to find a near optimal cluster in terms of motif conductances. Now, uh, now I'll talk about the, the details, uh, the details three step of our algorithm. On the first step is to, is to, is to build a weighted graph. The, the way is the following. The, for the weighted graph, the weight on every edge is equal to the number of motif instances containing these two, this two, this edge, or these two nodes. Taking this network and this motif as, as an example, the, uh, the, the, the edge between six and seven is weighted as one because there's one motif instance at here. However, the set, the, the, this edge from eight to nine is weighted as two because there are two instance motif instances from here and here. And it has been shown in the recent work that the motif, instance, the motif conductance of any, of, uh, of, uh, of any cluster in, the, in this weighted graph is approximately equal to the, uh, uh, to, to the motif conductance in the, in the original network. After finding this network, uh, after finding this weighted, uh, this weighted graph, our next step is to, is to find a cluster in this weighted graph with minimal weighted edge conductance. And, we, and we, we do this in two, in two steps. The first step, which is the second step in our mapper algorithm, is to compute an approximate P, uh, personalized page rank vector, or PPR vector, for this weighted graph. The PPR vector is a stationary distribution of a random walk, uh, where at each step, it has some time probability to teleport back to the scene node. And, and therefore, the, the APPR vector at each, uh, at each node the value is uh, the value is measures an integrated closeness of every node to the to the to the C node, and uh, and for a weighted graph, we choose an, uh, at at each set of the random walk, we choose the we choose the edge with probability proportional to its weights, and uh, and and but note that computing the exact value of the PPR vector requires solving a linear system, which is computational uh, computationally expensive. Here we we uh, here we we. We, 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 use a, we use a method to, approx to, so to compute an approximate personal page rank algorithm. This method is to, uh, is to adapt the original PPR method proposed by Anderson in 2006, 
which is designed for an unweighted graph. Here, we adapt it to, to make it work on the weighted graph. I'll skip the details here, but all the details are in the paper, and I'm very happy to chat about it offline or during the question session. On the third step, after computing the APPR vector P, now, now, we apply the, now, we, now we apply the sweep procedure to output a set with minimum weighted edge conductance. The, this can be divided into three steps. The first step is to sort every node by the ratio of, uh, by the, by the ratio of PU of, D, of the weighted degree of, of this node U. After this normalization and sorting, U1 becomes the most important node to the seed node, and U2 becomes the second most important node, and so on and so forth. Now we, consider a, uh, now we consider a series of sets, which is uh, SR, which, consider, which contains the, the, our, first, uh, our most important node to the C node, and we output the, the set S with the minimal weighted edge conductance, which, is, which concludes our algorithm. Our algorithm has a few very nice uh, theoretical properties. First of all, it has a runtime guarantee, which shows that after motif counting for every C, the algorithm finishes in time proportional to the output cluster size, which means that it's independent of the, of the network size. And as a key part of the proof, recall that we, we weight every, every edge by the, by the number of motifs it's participated in, which means that it's an tri integer. Then we interpret every integer weighted edges as parallel unweighted edges. Uh, then, then we can apply the previous analysis of the APPR algorithm. Our algorithm not only has, has theoretical runtime guarantee, but actually it runs really fast in practice. It, it takes less than two seconds per seed on a graph, on a graph with more than two billion edges. And as a compare, the, the, the motif-based, the, uh, the global classing algorithm may take more than two hours. Our algorithm also has theoretical quality guarantee. It says that for any target community, for any unknown target community, the, the mapper algorithm is able to find a set with, uh, with conductance up to a square root factor of the conductance of the, of the, of the unknown, unknown community. And uh, moreover, this upper, this upper bound can be even improved if we know that the underlying community uh, is well connected, which is often the case in, in practice. Here, this is denoted by the second term here. This eta is the inverse meeting time of the subgraph induced by T. The higher the eta is, the, more con the better connected the, the subgraph induced by T, and, uh, and, and the better our upper bound is. Also, as a, and also the, the proof of the algorithm is inherited by the classic ATPR analysis. In practice, our algorithm, uh, our, our algorithm can better recover the ground truth community structure which means that the ma our mapper, our ma the cluster detected by our mapper is closer to the ground truth community structure, which I'm going to illustrate in, in exact by experiments. We first test our mapper algorithm on synthetic network with, with planted community structure. We first look at the planted partition model where two nodes, the two nodes have, where two nodes belonging to, a, to the same cluster have a higher probability of an edge between them than if they are from different clusters. We also consider uh, its, its more realistic version, the, the LFR model, which is a variant of a planted position model with parallel distri degree distribution, community overlapping, and so on. Our experiment procedure works like this. Given uh, if we're seated as every node, we uh, compute the F1 score of the member cluster with a ground truth community and take the average. Moreover, we repeat this ex experiment under different mixing level view which is a fraction of edges crossing, crossing different communities. It is intuitive that the higher the mu is, the more, the more difficult it is to retrieve the, the ground truth community. And our experiment to see what's the upper, what's the, uh, what's the upper limit of the mixing level can our algorithm detect the ground truth community. And here comes our result. On the left side is, a, is the result for the planted partition model, where, uh, and where on the, on the x axis is a mixing parameter mu, and on the y-axis is the average F1 score of the mapper cluster to the ground truth community cluster. As we see, there's a huge there, there's a there's a huge region on the parameter space where the mapper algorithms with, with motif conductors can significantly outperform the edge-based method. As we see, in this region around 0.5, uh, the edge-based method can only gives us a, a recovery rate about 30%. Well, our mapper algorithm with 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 triangle motif can still gives us an almost 100% recovery. 
this is also seen in the LFR model. What is the, what is the intuition behind this, this significant improve, uh, this improvement? That is, the edges crossing different communities are less likely to form a triangle. Therefore, the triangle and high order connect and high order connecting pattern serves as a as a better motif as, as a better motif in the community detection. We also test our algorithm on real-world networks. As an example, we consider an email communication network on a research institute where every node represents uh, where every node represents a person and every edge uh, represents an email correspondence. Note that every node belongs to a, belong to a department, and our problem is giving a node as a seed. Can we recover every uh, other uh, can we cover other members in his in his or her department? And the results are falling. As we see, if our mapper algorithm with, 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 with triangle motif has a, has a 25 improvement in F1 score, which can put from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. Which uh, this again shows that triangle motifs can better recover the ground truth community structure. Also, we compare the compare all the arguments of using different motifs, and we see that the, the, the motif, or if we use motif with triangles, with, with either or, or both directions can, can better perform the other two types of triangle, which is a cycle and this feed forward loop. Which means that which means that both the feed forward loop and the tri and the cycles are, are important in discovering the community structure in the, in the communication network. In, our, in, in, in this presentation, I assume that I assume that the, the, seed, the, seed, the seed inputted to the mapper algorithm is given. But in our paper, we also consider the problem of finding a group seed, which means how can we find a, find a seed where if we run a mapper algorithm, seed as this node will give us a cluster with, mean, with, with lower motif conductances. And the idea is the vertex, uh, the, the vertex with low one-top neighborhood, where the one-top neighborhood is just the, the equal that is defined by x center in the previous talk. The vertex with one half neighborhood uh, uh, with one with low one half neighborhood motif conductance have lower motif conductance in, in their mapper cluster. And, uh, and as a very interesting uh, uh, motivating theory, we show that the the net so the network uh, the, ver the vertex one half neighborhood has low conduct uh, has low motif conductance if the if the network has high higher order crossing coefficient. The higher high the higher order crossing coefficient is a is a concept. We recently developed in a concurrent work. I will skip this very interesting result, but all uh, but all the theoretical proof are in the paper. I'm very happy to chat uh, offline again. And as a recap, we propose uh, we propose a, a map algorithm for local motif-based graph clustering with strong time guarantee, theoretical uh, with, uh, quality guarantee, and better recovery result in both synthetic models and real-world data sets. We also consider the problem of finding good sets in our paper. All the all the codes and data are available online, and I hope this work can 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 can, can benefit your future, your your ongoing and future research and applications. And now I'm ready to take your questions. Thank you. <laughs>